Alex Polizzi is an award-winning hotelier with over 20 years' experience working in the world's most luxurious hotels. Born into the legendary Forte Hotel dynasty, she's on a crusade to transform Britain's most desperate hotels and B&Bs. There seems to be water coming through the light. From outrageous owners... Well, hello, how you doing? ..to dodgy decor... It's as if someone put a lot of thought and effort into making this one of the ugliest dreams I've ever seen. Nothing escapes the hotel inspector's beady eye. Cleanliness is a basic. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Or her quest for perfection. This guy balls. <laughs> I mean, honestly, darling. This week, the hotel inspector finds a country house anything but to the manor born. The whole effect completely blows your mind. How could you ever sleep in here? You can't change this place. It's got stay as it is. Ah! You can't teach old dogs new tricks. And I You're think talking about me or you? They are clearly in denial. And I have got to convince them of this. Otherwise, I'll have failed before I've even really started. The Milton Lodge, a ten-bedroom country house hotel, nestling within six acres of beautiful Dorset countryside, home to owners Terry and Maureen Connor. I've got a sign of myself here. It's a nice day. Watch some bastard come along and spoil it. <laughs> Naughty Terry. Then he wonders why he gets into trouble. The Connors bought the 200-year-old former equestrian centre 23 years ago, when Terry stumbled upon it in a magazine. I was sitting on the toilet when I fell in love with it. Reading the country life. i had been out for the day. When she came back, I said, have a look at this. This looks nice. And um, we ended up buying Milton Lodge. The truth is, I didn't fall in love with it. Terry did. Since then, retired shopkeeper Terry has built up quite a collection of ornaments, which he's only too happy to share with guests. Did you collect all this, they say? I say, yeah. And when they come in, they say, wow, especially Americans. Got a pair of these lovely bird lamps. Nice policeman's helmet up there. There's a ration book up there for the World War II. A gun belt from the South African Boer War. Terry loves putting little koala bears on the pictures. The hotel comes complete with stables, cricket pitch, gardens, outdoor pool and large function room. Where we hold birthday parties, um, funerals, um, reception birthday parties and funerals. Do like a nice funeral. The only thing is, I don't know where I'm going to go when I die. I don't want to be buried under the ground. I really don't want to be burned, in case you're not dead. He I don't want to be buried and he doesn't want to be cremated, so what the hell do you do with it? I would like a Viking death, you know what I mean? <laughs> a Viking funeral. No way. Where they used to put you on a boat and set light to it and send you out to sea. Helping them run the hotel is 37-year-old Joe Bird, who's been with the Connors for more than 20 years. Cleaning bathrooms one minute and then you're taking bookings the other. It keeps you busy, <laughs> very busy. Joe is like a daughter and she's wonderful. She's not a member of staff. No, she isn't. She's part of the family. With Joe acting as a girl Friday, seven days a week, Terry prefers to spend his time outdoors. I could spend all day out here if I could, but I can't. Get away from the residents. <laughs> and the women. Terry and Maureen have seen more than their fair share of good times at the Milton Lodge. But as their energies have waned, 
so too have their occupancy rates. We used to do a lot of weddings and big parties, which we don't do now, because we're too old. Been there, done it, got the T-shirt. With declining profits and an increasing workload, the couple fear that all good things might come to an end. Sometimes I get frightened when, they, when it goes too easy all up for too long. Uh, as I say, we don't get no wages. Terry's getting on in years and I'm not that much behind him. And how long can you keep going on doing things? The Connors are worried not just for their business, but for their home, and for Joe's future too. What's the future here? I really don't know, because sometimes you think about it, and other time I think, well, why would think about it? Why worry about it? Worry doesn't do you any good. I, I don't know what's going to happen to Milton Lodge. I thought one, one time that my sons may want to run it, but they don't seem to be. They've got their own life anyhow. What it will be like really will probably be very sad and very heart-wrenching but it's what the future holds who knows enter the hotel inspector as terry and maureen approach the autumn of their years can alex help them put the spring back into the milton lodge what a handsome house and beautifully kept garden. For once, a good first impression. But that good first impression doesn't last long. I absolutely hate all of this. It has no place in a professional establishment. Is it necessary? No. And inside, Alex finds Terry's collections hard to bear. He's got so much of everything. There's china figurines, there's odd Victorian plates, pottery, tea sets, um, Victorian portrait miniatures, and the inexplicable addition of lots of furry koala bears. The general effect is pretty underwhelming. To find out more about the challenge ahead, Alex will spend the night. Just in room one here. Lovely. OK, thank you. The Milton Lodge has 10 ensuite bedrooms, with prices ranging from between 65 and 120 pounds per night. Thank you. Bathroom just to the right. OK. Great. Okay. Thank you. OK, thank you. one room key. See you later. See you later. Thank, thank you. you so much. Gosh, it's a long time since I was in such a floral room. It's a shame, because the room's got really nice proportions, but they're certainly not being made the most of. And the floral pattern continues next door. This is an interesting decorative technique, and one that I'm not entirely sure works here. Let's just layer pattern upon pattern upon pattern upon pattern. I mean, the whole effect completely blows your mind. How could you ever sleep in here? Ah! Once again, this room is very flowery. It's like someone's dream of femininity. And these duvets don't match at all, and this horrible sofa. Most of the people that come here, um, they come in and they say, hell, this is going like back going into another world. And you, you couldn't change it. You can't change this place. It's got stay as it is. Oh, that is very pink. And it's the kind of pink that you're only going to like if you're a little girl under the age of four. It obviously doesn't match. Why bother? Hoping for some improvement downstairs, Alex explores the function room. This looks like a village hall. There's this collection of very disparate stuff. Just doesn't hang together. And it's a lovely sized room and surely has a million uses. But who is going to use it with it decorated like this? The house explored, Alex decides it's now time to get to know her hosts 
Terry and Maureen. 23 years ago, you bought this place and presumably it wasn't as stuffed full of stuff as it is now. No. So you just go for that. You like the kind of Victorian look. Edwardian, merely. Edwardian, sorry. Oh, no. Excuse me for saying it, but you're not exactly in the first flush of youth anymore. Pardon? <laughs> is that I'm rude? seeing Terry be 80 next year. I yeah. think enough is enough, quite frankly. Eventually, I'll be honest. Well, yeah. Terry will what? never want to sell it. It's been carried out in the box. All right, fine. Uh, where do you advertise? Where do you market? What do you do? We, we don't, don't have a, advertise. We don't advertise at all. Don't Just on the it. website, and, and that is it. So how do people find you? How do they find us? Sometimes people just stumble on us. So what are you prepared to do and what aren't you? <laughs> Not a lot. Oh, what are you quite... prepared to do? <laughs> uh, there's that saying, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Um, and I you think... about me or you? <laughs> You're slightly ungallant, darling. I th you know, darling. please. So you present quite a conundrum. We go round in yeah. a circle and we come to nothing. OK. Good. Get on with it. As Alex turns in for the night, the scale of her challenge becomes clear. This whole situation here is really interesting. It's quite unusual. Usually I have people really interested, at least in seeking for help. They're not even sure that they want to be busier. They don't know even what they want of me. They want everything to be exactly the same. They just want a little bit more money out of it, which is quite a challenge. And it's not just the wallpaper that's clashing. People kind of like playing. That's your opinion, though. What Alex thinks is what Alex thinks. Hotel inspector Alex Polizzi is in Dorset helping Terry and Maureen Connor, owners of the Milton Lodge. Can I pick one of these lovely roses to put in my hat? So far, she's discovered flowery decor. Let's just layer pattern upon pattern upon pattern. Disordered clutter. The general effect is pretty underwhelming. And a couple facing an uncertain future. I think there's a room for a few little tweaks, but not too much. Too much is a bad thing. After a good night's sleep, Alex goes online to see how the rest of the world views the Milton Lodge. This website is really poor. I think it is slightly misrepresenting itself. And I think the pictures are really tired of the interior. It's not representative of how pretty it is here. And normally, websites misrepresent the other way. This is prettier than the website shows it to be. With Joe and Terry responsible for the front of house, Alex takes them both on a tour of the problems she's discovered so far. This is the most amazingly light and lovely pretty room. I can't understand why then you have a kind of duvet that completely clashes with the wallpaper. I think that if you're going to do the Victoriana thing of wallpapering, then everything else has to be a bit plainer to suit modern tastes a bit more. Does that make sense? Well, to you it does, it's obvious. Well, does it to you? No, not really. So why not? So what do you suggest doing with this room? I change think the duvet. Change the duvet, walk into the room and see what this wallpaper looks like with this, and actually it looks much smarter immediately. The bathroom doesn't tickle the hotel inspector's fancy either. And I know pink is the theme, but was this really necessary? This is for gay people, this room. We fit the gays here because they like pink. And we just, <laughs> they do, believe it or not, they like pink. <laughs> With Terry using any excuse to resist bringing the hotel into the modern world, Alex tries another room and another tack to illustrate her point. 
people travel with lots of stuff and every spare inch of surface is covered here with something. There's nowhere to put anything. Um, you know, you've got stuff that I think don't particularly, you know, it's something that's just stuff that's here. And what would they do if they wanted them ornaments? I wouldn't have dried flowers. That's, that's why I knew you wouldn't say that. That was obvious. Because it, they collect dust. Is this carpet, for example, hiding something nasty underneath? No, no, no. Have a look. <laughs> oh, well, that's already a lot better. Uh, all about your taste. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but why would you have a rug there, darling? People kind of like plain. Yeah? That's, all that's your opinion. That's all I'm trying to say. That's your opinion, though. That is my opinion, but this is a field in which I know quite a lot. Of course we'd like to be busier, provided it don't change my style of life. At my age, I'm in, I like doing just what I want to do. But, you know, she's got her ideas and I've got mine. Frustrated, Alex calls together the Milton Lodge team. If she can't get them to understand the importance of bringing the hotel up to date, the Milton Lodge could be history. First, Alex wants to bring a little order to the chaotic decor. So, to get more bed and breakfast business, we have to get the bedrooms better. And I would like you to try and coordinate, reorganise, minimalise it a bit. I think, actually, with a bit of changing things around, you wouldn't have to buy anything different and you don't have to I'm change. Not going to buy anything. And then I would also love for this room to be ordered for the next time I come so I can see what it's actually like if you're going to do some kind of function. Because it looks a bit like a village hall. You know, there's a bookshelf over there, and there's that bureau there, and there are all these bits and bobs that don't really fit together. Yeah. Mm. I just think this is an asset that could be used more. Next, Alex wants Terry and Maureen to improve their marketing. I would like to make your website a bit more interesting. We're going to need to take some photos of the rooms and make sure that you advertise them properly because people now want to see what they're going to get. So, you can say you don't want weddings, you can say you don't want big functions, big but parties, you want to let the rooms. but you want to let the rooms. And to yeah, do that, thanks. we have got to build you up a kind of internet profile. Finally, Alex wants the Milton Lodge to face the future, with Joe at its heart. The way that I'm looking at this overall is we need to succession plan a bit so that whatever happens in the future, nothing comes and hits you like a bolt between the eyes. I know it's quite hard because this is your home, you've been running it for a long time, so it's difficult to bite the bullet and actually make a few changes. It's your baby. Go ahead and do it with our support. They've given you carte blanche to grow yeah, the she business. Can do, she can do, do it. Do whatever yeah. you like. You underestimate Far more yourself. than I capable. told you before, you underestimate She can do it. things, but she always says, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> but she can. She can. Alex has identified Joe as central to driving the Milton Lodge forward. But Alex knows that unless she can improve the business, there might not be anything left for Joe to inherit. I was expecting a certain amount of resistance from Maureen and Terry. After all, he's knocking on 80 and she's 70. The fact that Joe's such a traditionalist is a bit of a surprise to me. After all, she's much younger, but she has been here 23 years, girl and woman. They are clearly in denial, and I have got to convince them of this, otherwise I'll have failed before I've even really started. We will make changes how and when we feel ready to. What Alex thinks is what Alex, Alex thinks. I don't mind minor changes, like changing the colours of the bedspreads or, you know, the, whatever it is. But whether it make any difference to the public is another thing. With Alex gone, Joe, at least, decides it's time for a change, tackling the clutter in the bedrooms. See, we've made a couple of changes since Alex has gone. Um, Maureen likes the bedspreads, and they do go with the curtains, so we've left those. And we tried to coordinate the colours. It's like years ago, people used to say, make sure you've got clean underwear on in case you get knocked down. You can be all smart on top and rotten underneath. 
I'll put something plain over the chairs. I've decluttered a couple of bits here. I know she said she wasn't keen on the dry flowers and said they're dust collectors, but I'm always cleaning, so they don't collect dust, and actually everything is a dust collector, think about it. But it'll be interesting to see what Alex is. Alex is keen for the Milton Lodge team to plan for the future. If Terry and Maureen want to take a step back, Joe is going to have to step up. And Joe's first idea is to develop the function room. Staying away, really, from doing two bigger parties and weddings. So I said, well, then why don't we turn that... Let's try it. Let's turn it into a tea room. Uh, make a nice tea room, actually, this would. Easier than doing parties and functions. We've been down that road before, really. Let's go for a tea room, then. <laughs> Four weeks later and Alex is back, determined to drag the Milton Lodge and its owners into the 21st century. It is absolutely lovely here and I should be very excited about coming back. However, I'm nervous because I know from my last visit that the whole family are very stuck in their ways. My challenge is to make the family see that if I'm going to make the improvements I need to, they're going to have to accept some changes. Starting with removing books. How are you? I'm better now I've seen you, love. Nice to be here again. Yes. So, shall we start our battle? Yeah, go on then. I would like these to be taken down. Would I'll you? tell you why. Because I think that you've got a very individual place and you've got some lovely collections which are valuable and nice. And all this is quite gimmicky and doesn't give a particularly good impression of right. the professionalism of the place inside. Are you happy to take them down? Yeah, I suppose so, just for you. My goodness, I never thought you'd agree. Well, it was something simple, would it? Ta da! But although progress has been made with the doorway, Terry's less obliging with the website, which, despite Alex's instruction, remains unchanged. I have the faintest idea how our website works. Ask me about the garden. I'll tell you about the garden. I'm running the swimming pool. I can't be a genius in Ed, really, can I? I can't. And I think sometimes some of these websites have too much on that you can't be bothered with them anyway. Check out some of my nerves when you look at these pages and it's reams and reams and reams. Do people really read all that gaff? Alex is hoping things have improved upstairs. She wanted a complete decluttering of the bedrooms, but it's clearly still a work in progress. I just don't quite understand why there are all these cloths. I will take it away. It looks kind of cleaner, don't you think? It does look better. I wanted to say, too, that having loose covers like that, I think, looks a bit studenty. And I'm interested that you did it that way round rather than that way round. Do you see what I mean? Planing up the room or making it a bit simpler by doing that. Dry flowers. I know. <laughs> no, Maureen <laughs> likes to dry flowers, and like she said, it breaks the wall a little bit because if you do take it away, it's very bare looking. Fine. If you get rid of these peach cloths, okay. I would say that we've made a very good compromise. Yeah. I'm happy. Alex may be happy to compromise over dried flowers, but she's intent on bringing the floral rooms to life. I'd just like to show you how you can alter a few things to make it a slightly more appealing. I know that Terry is very attached to the wallpaper, so the wallpaper will remain. And I assume that no one has any complaints if I de-pink the bathroom. No, you're welcome to de-pink <laughs> the bathroom. Um, OK, good. With progress slow and unsure, Alex is keen that Joe's idea for the function room is both big and bold, so she plans to help with its relaunch. I think it's a really good idea about doing the tea room, but I think we need to think of it as more than a tea room. We want to think of it as a function room. I want to make it more intimate and a bit warmer and a bit more kind of somehow cosy, because if you don't have a lot of people in there, it's not a very pleasant room no, to sit in. No, you can in. do that. I think we need to take a few more photos to really show this place off to their best advantage. I think some of the photos on that website aren't particularly... Enough. 
Yeah, they're a bit naff. Thank you for saying oh, it. If you were saying that. <laughs> You've said to me that you want this place to be busier. I don't think it matters if it's through the rooms or through the function room. You just want it, that little bit of extra income to accept mm. or refuse as you feel fit. Mm. Yeah. But you want the, qu the queries to be coming in. Yeah. Yeah? So is that the beginnings of a plan? Yep. Yes. Lovely. Thanks. Every faith in you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alex departs, hoping her words are finally getting through. I think today has been really productive. Jo and Maureen seem really enthusiastic about my ideas for the rooms, and they all seem very enthused by my ideas for the function room. I honestly think that that room could be an enormous addition to their business, and I want them to milk it for all it's worth. But is it a case of one step forward, two steps back? Alexander asked me to take the pictures off the front door, so I thought, oh, yes, I'll take them off the front door, and we're not going to put them up no more. Oh. Aren't you? Of course I am. And I'll be back tomorrow. Can Alex drag the Milton Lodge, screaming and kicking, into the 21st century? I'm not willing to have the rooms upstairs open to everyone. You don't want people just coming in random and going up to look at rooms. What, after all, did I really expect? Hotel inspector Alex Polizzi is at the Milton Lodge in Dorset. She's trying to stop the sun setting on Terry and Maureen's ten-bedroom country house hotel. But she's fighting with an owner who's resistant to change. Yeah, I like a bit of duck in the dive. but makes the old brain cells start working again, you know. And as Maureen said, up here for thinking and down there for dancing. And under here for carrying parcels. <laughs> Alex left the Milton Lodge with an action plan to secure the hotel's future, including a revamp of their very basic website. I know that neither Terry or Maureen are computer savvy, nor is Joe, but they have to embrace the fact that the world has moved on. Their website needs to be all singing or dancing. It has to be their first line of attack. So Joe decides to get snapping, taking photos to make the website more attractive. That's it, perfect. They look, they look lovely, Joe. So nice, all homemade. What do you think, darling? The scones are lovely. I like them, but I don't eat them because they get all around me teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Alex's team get to work on deflowering the floral bedrooms and start injecting some life into the function room. But Terry does at least take time to clear up the pool area. I can't wait to get the pool clean. I so I can have a swim at midnight every night, like I do. We're all going there in the nude. Five weeks later, Alex is back. She's hoping for some new improvements, but so far, it's the same old story. What, after all, did I really expect? Why is your picture back on the front door? Oh, someone put it back on there, what? They put it back, I told them not to. It was a shallow, shallow victory of mine, wasn't no, it? Well, to get you to again. take it down so I easily. I can't help it, it's public demand. <laughs> Oh, well, where's enough. the photograph? Where are the girls? In here. Come on, oh. let's go. Defeated downstairs, Alex decides it's time to reveal her new look bedrooms. She wanted to demonstrate how a few simple touches could freshen up the dated decor. In the double room, she's ditched the clutter and busy bed linen, replacing it with a more simple, crisp, and refined take, bringing it more in line with what the modern traveller might expect. I've got rid of some of the bits and bobs, so you can actually, you could sit and use your um, laptop on there if you wanted to. And I've got rid of that rug. Very nice. I like it. There's certainly no clutter. <laughs> <laughs> and in the twin room, she's taken the old-fashioned template and by adding some simple contemporary touches, nudged it gently into the 21st century. Because you've got this quite leery wallpaper, 
it's it, quite no, nice. It tones it, it, tones yeah. it all down yeah. a bit. And it matches the covers and... Yeah, and then look at this. Da -da. No more carpet in the bathroom. Oh, that's better. I might be even here myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's still countryfied, but with a modern twist. Yeah, she's twist. very nice. Yes. Yes. That's very nice. You used to have a certain type of customer come in here quite a lot, the pink yes. pounders. Yes, that's it. Do you yes. think they'll still like the room? I think they'll love it, yes, I do. They've got enough pink in there. They do. And they can always get some pink underwear or something. To wear. <laughs> they'll make it a bit more pink. And downstairs, proving a room can be pretty in pink if handled correctly, Alex has brightened up the sterile function room into a lively, vibrant space, perfect for any function, large or small. <laughs> oh, it looks lovely. Do you like it? Yeah. I think this is going to be a, a good tea room. I mean, it's definitely fit for purpose. So, all in all, you've, we've got the thumbs up, have we? Yes. Yeah. Love it. Brilliant. Very nice. Good. Beautiful. With the function room revamped, Alex wastes little time in preparing to put it through its paces. She's arranged an impromptu party with one of the most demanding of audiences, 22 children from the nearby school. Hello. 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 So cake sandwiches, crisp, mixed peppers. All right. When Alex first arrived, she identified Joe as central to the future of Milton Lodge. Alex believes Joe has to be more confident, stepping up to help save Terry and Maureen's home. It was Joe who wanted this tea room. This is her baby. She's in charge, and I really want to put her through her paces now and see how she's going to run this thing. But as I haven't given her much time, I suppose I ought to help her a bit. Hello. <laughs> Alex feels that if Joe can deal with a group of hungry children at such short notice, She'll be able to cope with anything the Milton Lodge can throw at her. The entertainer is doing his bit, but can Joe pull a rabbit out of the hat and work her magic with the food? Three pepper, carrot. The Milton Lodge's function room, which once played host to funerals, is now brimming with life and Joe's relishing the opportunity to shine. There you go. Oh. Yeah, Cinderella. <laughs> it's gone really well. We enjoyed it. Looney balloon has been fantastic. The kids have really enjoyed it. And I'd hope to think that they've, they've passed it all on and then come back and do another party. Very happy to see the room being used by children. And, and yes, it be a great success, I think. As the children depart, it's clear to Alex that Jo has grown into her role. She now wants the new look Milton Lodge to reach a wider audience. Now that you've launched this, I'd really like you to focus a bit on the pricing and on what you're going to offer. Make sure that it's manageable. Make sure that it's costed out properly, darling, because mm, this is supposed oh, to be that. a money Don't you worry spinner. About that. I'll cost it out. Will you? Yes, I will. OK, good. Because no. I'd like us to do an open day. What I will do is I'll try and make sure that a few people come who may use the bedrooms. But really, I would like Joe to take charge of this because this is all supposed to empower you. You say to Joe, oh, I can't do that. And she can. She well can. There's no ambivalence at all about how much they support you. Oh, no, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, then, so stop worrying about it. If they say you can do anything, you probably bloody can. Okay. <laughs> right? Yes, you can. Fine. Right, get going, Joe. Yeah. Alex leaves, knowing the future of the Milton Lodge is resting firmly on Joe's shoulders. Today has been so much better than expected. Finally, a glimmer of gumption from Joe, and it looks like Terry and Maureen are really behind her. I'm just hoping that they can keep it up and they're not going to slip back into their old comfortable ways before my next visit. But Terry and Maureen still might not have grasped the importance of marketing to new customers. What I'm to propose with Brian? We've got the intimate function room. Yeah, but I'm not willing to have the rooms upstairs open to everyone. Mm, What's yeah. everyone who want to go up and look at the rooms? Because they're Excuse bloody me. nosy. Don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry going through your rooms, do you? Be honest about it. You don't want people just coming in random and 
going up to look at rooms. Can Joe step up? Alex, you did the fun sugars, did you? I'm doing I'm doing the sugars, doing the sugars. Yeah, can you go to him then, please? Or will Terry finally snap? I must be bloody mad doing this. Terry and Maureen Connor have been running the 200-year-old Milton Lodge for the past 23 years, together with long-term assistant Joe Bird. Hotel inspector Alex Polizzi has been trying to bring the hotel into the modern world, while helping to provide a succession plan so Terry can spend more time in the garden. I'm going to have a little cigarette because I'm not supposed to smoke. I have to hide them under me hat. Alex wants Joe, who's been an understudy at the Milton Lodge for more than 20 years, to prove she's now capable of being the boss. You're late. I oh, know, Joe. Sorry about that. I'm in charge today. <laughs> Come on, let's get this show on the ground. Or well, show on the road. <laughs> Her big test comes today. Alex has asked Joe to organise an open day to relaunch the hotel and function room. So far, she seems to have risen to the challenge. Why is everyone smiling first thing in the morning? You've been taking something, Joe. You're full of spirit this morning. Yeah, well. With more than 200 confirmed guests, the Milton Lodge prepares itself for the onslaught. With food to prepare and a garden to dress, where's the pole? Joe takes charge. All right, you okay there? Yeah. Fuck it, look. I must be bloody mad doing this. Oh dear. With the big event just hours away, Alex is back to see if the Milton Lodge is ready. My last visit to the beautiful Milton Lodge, and last time I was here, I really felt I saw a sea change in the family's attitudes. I'm hoping it wasn't just superficial. I'll feel much more confident if I see that they take advantage of everything that today has to offer. Before the open day begins, Alex wants to check on the progress of Milton Lodge's website. It represents the hotel's only marketing effort, so Alex is keen for it to be as impressive as possible. Ah, yeah. very good, darling. A few more photos on there. Yep. Yeah. So, all in all, it does look much updated, and I think you've just got to keep your eye on it, really. Do you good? With the hotel slowly catching up with the modern world, Alex is keen to see if her future succession plan is running to schedule. So do you think that Joe's a bit more confident now about think, what she can do? I think Joe's a bit too confident now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, I do cry this morning. Full of herself. Good for her. Good. And, and have you thought more about, you know, what you do in the future here and what role she's going to play? I'll and... leave it to Joe. Yeah? So my son said and told me this morning, he said, let Joe run it. He says, give it to Joe, let her run it. Does that mean you're going to make a more concrete plan about that? Or yeah. Just, yeah? Yeah. Good. Definitely. With Joe's new role as manager now officially recognised, the Milton Lodge prepares to throw open its doors. Alex has arranged for a wide selection of guests to sample the delights of the hotel. From members of the local community and businesses who may use the function room to guests from further afield who might book the bedrooms. First thing I'd like to do yeah. first, let's get all the jams on the table, get the cups I'm and just going to turn the jams up now. Right, right, and then we can old. number them. The open day is an opportunity to prove to the outside world that the Milton Lodge is a thriving business. And for Joe, it's a chance to prove to Terry and Maureen that after 23 years in the front line, they can confidently take a back seat. Joe always works very hard, but I think this is something that feels a little bit more independent than she's been before. She'll have Maureen and Terry hovering in the background. But I think if she can show them that she's now more willing to take on responsibility and ultimately that she can stand on her own two feet, they'll be thrilled for her. Joe wastes no time getting stuck in, as even the hotel inspector finds to her cost. Alex, 
Alex, you did the fun sugars, did you? I'm doing, I'm doing the sugars, doing the sugars. Yeah, can you go to them then, please? Hi, Rory, how are you? You coming for a cup of tea? It's very busy. Um, there's croquet on the back lawn, so I've got such a big queue out there that we're, I've asked Alex to go and ask him to go maybe outside and have a look at the croquet. And I must go, because I've got three little girls I promised a cup of tea to. But as Joe takes care of front of house, Maureen has to deal with a problem behind the scenes. Burnt the scones. Proof. Despite the burnt offerings, the rest of the home cooking is selling like hot cakes. I made the chocolate cake. Enjoy that. My favourite is chocolate. Absolutely delicious. Yes. yes. All homemade. I think it's a very good idea to have something like this around the area. I'm sure it would be very popular. With Joe now in charge, She's allayed Terry and Maureen's fears about strangers in the bedrooms. Sensing a good marketing opportunity, she's only too keen to arrange a tour. Our double rooms are £90 a night, yeah, and our singles are £65 a night. Though Terry's flowery wallpaper is still not to everyone's liking. It's not my taste. <laughs> but Alex's touches do seem to appeal. It's a nice uncluttered room. I like the decor and it looks very comfortable. My father-in-law's planning a party and um, is actually looking for somewhere for, for family to stay, so uh, I think this will be ideal. Jo's been rushed off her feet all day, catering for more than 200 guests. As the final crumbs are swept away, Alex calls the Milton Lodge team together. It seems the once reluctant Terry and Maureen have embraced her new ideas. Do you think this whole process has been useful yeah. in the end? I yeah, it's been very yeah. successful, I'd say that. Yeah? And the thing is, you've already made your mark, haven't you? And now I think it's time to make another mark. Good, Good luck, love. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to have met you. Cheers, boys. Thanks, Sorry. darling. I've really Cheers, enjoyed it. I have changed a little bit because now, because of um, Alex's inspiration and then updating the website and giving that room a lift, it's made it look like a really lovely part of the hotel and there's a little bit of all of us within this hotel and I think that's also important. It was a great experience meeting Alex, she was great. It was a bit in the beginning but lovely lady. I'll take the fifth amendment. <laughs> when I first visited Milton Lodge I found a bed and breakfast in terminal decline. They certainly weren't fulfilling their full potential. The rooms were cluttered and they were doing virtually no marketing. Now I'm leaving Joe as a force to be reckoned with and I genuinely believe in their vibrant future.